So good morning from day five on the Camino, walking from Puerto La Reina to a place called Estela. It's only about 20, 21 kilometers today, I believe. So four less than yesterday. And uh, so far, so good underfoot. It's a bit cloudy and uh, gloomy again today, but I think the rain's gonna hold off actually. Now, I don't wanna sound like a prissy, pampered human being who only wants to stay in luxury hotels because I'm not, but, and I'm not trying to put people off hostels either. But come on, what is it with the people snoring in hostels? Last night was horrendous. We were in a really cramped room of eight people across a couple of bunk beds, and three of them were snoring so loudly that it was impossible to sleep again. I think I've only had about two hours again. I've got really, really good earplugs as well. They're these silicon ones that mold to the shape of your ears. And to be quite honest, I'm surprised I'm not in a doctor's surgery this morning having them extracted from my ears where I wedge them down so deep in an effort to drown out the snoring. I know the hostel experience is part of the Camino. Uh, and again, I'm not trying to put people off, but I'm struggling with it, if I'm honest. And I know perhaps I should be more forgiving to these people with their snoring and stuff, but I really, really need a good night's sleep. So about seven kilometers out from Estella still, just stopped off in a little village called Lorca for a coffee. And what was interesting was that you could just smell freshly burning wood through the village where everyone's still so cold, because as you can see, it is cold. I mean, it's about 12 degrees Celsius today. I think that's very unseasonable for this time of year in this part of Spain. So it's quite a strange sensation walking through these sleepy towns and just being able to smell like wood fire. It's kind of something quite comforting about it actually. My leg, my right leg, is starting to hurt now, which is not surprising given like the accumulative effect of walking all these miles every day. And I am struggling a little bit. Um, just got to carry on though. So fingers crossed that it doesn't play up too much over the next 7K. So it took us four hours and 50 minutes today to get to Estea, and it was about a 22 kilometre walk. And for the first time, both during and afterwards, I'm really feeling it today. Day five, and my legs are killing me, absolutely killing me. We've booked ourselves into a twin room in a hostel tonight, just for the two of us, because, wow, I can't handle any more snoring. I really need to get a good night's sleep, especially if I'm gonna be able to continue going tomorrow. So just gonna spend a couple of hours now um, for my sins walking around because uh, the problem is is you walk all day and you get to these places and it looks so pretty in terms of architecture and things i really want to have a look because you know i'm not going to get an opportunity to come back here anytime soon so trying to find the energy now to do a bit more walking and explore as much as i can So day six on the Camino begins. Got 21 kilometers ahead of us approximately to a place called Los Arcos. Looks like it's shaping up to be a very nice sunny day and I'm gonna to have to get the sunscreen out. If I'm a bit subdued, it's because I can't find my wallet anywhere <laughs> with about 300 euros in it and all my debit and credit cards. So I've turned my back inside out, can't find it. Gonna have another look when I get to Los Arcos and hope that it's in there. 
If not, I'm gonna have to cancel my cards and things, but I've got Apple Pay, which might tie me over today, but it is a bit of a worry. It'll also come as no surprise that staying in a twin room last night with no other people had the best night's sleep I've had so far. So I do feel revitalized because of that. Right leg is still hurting and I'm hoping that it doesn't continue to hurt more later on as we continue. Dosed up on ibuprofen. So yeah, just gonna crack on and head on to Los Arcos now. So about 35 minutes after leaving Estella, you pass by that famous wine fountain where people just can fill up their bottles completely free of wine. Now, it's only about 9.15 in the morning. I'm not a big wine drinker, so I wasn't gonna go for any of that. But uh, it kind of made me feel a little bit sad because if a free wine fountain existed in the UK, it would be bone dry within about 60 seconds and queues around the corner bigger than Primark. Um, but here, everyone was really respectful and considerate. Um, I guess that's just part of the, you know, the Camino way, but yeah, it maybe gave me food for thought, definitely. So shortly after the wine fountain, you find uh, yourself at a crossroads. You can go two ways. You can go one way uh, onto Los Arcos, which apparently is a kilometer longer, but more flat. Or you can go up through some woodland trail, which is a kilometer less. Obviously you've gone for the kilometer shorter route and it's really lovely actually. Lots of nice trees and birds tweeting and because the sun's getting quite warm now, it's providing a really good bit of shade uh, so it's not as hot. So just watch out for that if you are faced at that crossroads and, and bear those things in mind because it is a little steep as we go up. So that's worth thinking of too. But I, in my opinion, I think we've made the right choice here. So currently nine kilometers out from Los Arcos and I'm really enjoying today's walk. Just been beautiful countryside the whole way. After the woodland, it's just been rolling green hills, lovely fields, blue sky, really, really enjoying it. Just stopped off for a coffee, at a cafe and a community swimming pool. And uh, I know it's not swimming weather today, particularly at the end of April, but I did think that if you had your swimming stuff in your bag and you were doing the walk in July or August, it'd be lovely to cool off halfway through and have a dip in the pool. Also, I did lose my wallet. Thankfully, a girl that I've met on the way, become friends with, speaks fluent Spanish and she made a few phone calls and called the local police. And within half an hour, they called her back to say someone had found my wallet didn't have any money in it so I've lost about 300 euros and I'm trying to not dwell on that and could always cry about it but um they actually brought my wallet to me in the last village we were in by car I actually had a police car turn up uh, two two policemen with my wallet uh, I've got all my debit cards credit cards and things so that's a good thing and yeah I just have to not think about the money too much and stay positive but I was thinking that if that happened in London the police would be, they'd make you get a bus to go back and get your wallet. They wouldn't, you know, expend two officers to bring you your wallet. So I'm very, very grateful for that amazing service and very thankful for that. Anyway, nine more kilometres to go. Wind's picking up. Just going to keep on putting one leg in front of the other.
Thank you for watching and thank you to everyone who has offered kind words and encouragement. I am happy to try and answer any Camino questions, so feel free to ask away in the comments section below. Again, if you have found this interesting or even if you just like my photos, then please do consider hitting that subscribe button as it really does motivate me into finishing the next video.